this is First Illustrated Math Dictionary. They have other First Illustrated books as well, but um, I think like they have science. That's what I plan on getting, but I wanted to get math for Tristan. And this has a, it's, you know, it's definitely a nice thick book. It's uh, over 100 pages. Let me just flip through and show you some of the examples. So here's about counting forward. Then it shows you counting backward. And so it gives you a visual. It gives you the number spelled out and the actual number. So you, you get a nice visual here, a representation of what's going on. And it also, here's like counting from 0 to 100 shows you the number as well as how to spell it. And so you can see, you know, like for teaching, 90, then it shows you all the different numbers so they can understand it better. Here's counting to 100. Here are 100 birds. You can count 50 on this page and 50 on this page. So it shows you, if you look back, you see 100 birds and what that looks like. Here's counting to 1,000. There are 1,000 flowers, and they have them broken into different groupings. So kids can understand how to count by different, you know, like they have like 10, like by twos, by tens, etc. on here. Now these are for a little bit older children, probably once they start like kindergarten, first and second, third grade, but different ways of using math and counting. How to count backwards, counting forwards, how to do multiples, but it's very visual. So if you're a visual learner, if you have a child that you think might be a visual learner. This is just a great way to show, you know, to explain math. There's comparing numbers, the orders of things, putting numbers in order, positions, like it says, first, next, middle, next to last, last. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. And when you turn the line around, the first thing is now the last thing. So then it shows you that too. And it shows you like before, after, above, below, between, ordinal numbers. I don't even know, do you remember what that is? That's just how you say like first, second, third, fourth. And it counts and it just shows you how to do that in a visual way. Picture sequencing, groups, fractions. I always really, when I was younger, liked you know, drawing fractions so I could see. Uh, so that helped me. So I, I really like this book about, you know, because it has so many things like that. And adding, subtracting, you know, how you put things together. Separating things, making things smaller, making them bigger. Useful opposites, adding and subtracting. And, you know, it goes through times tables. Was, it's like very, they even have like little basic algebra in here. Like how to use calculator. 2D shapes, circles, triangles, rectangles, octagons. Then it shows you how to short, sort shapes. Then it shows you the 3D shapes. Cubes, cuboids, prisms, cylinders, pyramids, cones, line symmetry. How to make 3D shapes. Things with similar meanings, under, underneath, below, beneath. Coordinates for a map. Um, higher, lower, forward, backward, movement. Sizes and measuring. Comparing. Too little, too many, too few, just over, just under. Okay, so you can just see, and I'm only on page 109. How many pages are there? I think there were like 140. No, 130 some. So it just keeps going. There's just really awesome stuff in this book. Pictograms, block graphs. So if you have a grade school kid, this is a really good book, especially for only 13 bucks. All right. That's First Illustrated Math. And again, they have other First Illustrated, so you can check other ones out too.